ladies and gentlemen, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. Belgrade, are you ready to be entertained? Well then, welcome to the Fight Nation Championships Edition 13. And without any further ado, it's time to get the action underway. Please welcome firstly to the blue corner, Fran Luca Judy. You know, technically, by the Guru Chris Hookstra. Nine fights slated on an action-packed card. Eight countries are represented here at the Fight of Nations in Belgrade, Serbia. The welterweight strap is up for grabs and the Balkan grudge match of the decade, along with some of the biggest hitters in the Balkans. Heading out for our opening bout here tonight, Fran Luka Duric. Duric hails from Croatia, won via rear naked choke at the last event in Pula. He was impressive in his pro debut with a first round KO win at FNC5. Comes tonight as a last minute replacement for Tufik Sejic, who withdrew because of illness. Duric took the win at FNC12 Pula as a late replacement for Matej Simic. This time up, his return to step in late. This is a good all-rounder. Wrestling based from Ban, kicking skills as a national savant, boxing vice champion. A nice submission game, very good at taking the back. And another homegrown FNC talent. It's exciting, you know, he was the best guy, I think, last time at FNC 12. He pulled it out with a W on short notice. This time, I think the key thing is his youth, the options in his game. I'm looking for evolution tonight from Durich. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Serbia, Boris! Belgrade's Pioneer Arena, home to the Partisan and Red Star basketball teams. A sellout crowd in attendance tonight to watch the best regional fighters and MMA stars from around the world. Not least this young man. Boris Stanich took a win against Eric Pletikos. That was in the Armageddon 4 semi finals. Nice, sweet, and sneaky submission there. Stanich had an extensive and successful amateur career before turning pro. And there was no rush from this young man to make the switch. A perfect example of a modern martial artist. He's comfortable across all elements of MMA. He made that good start as a pro, demonstrating an eclectic game with a KO and sub win in his first two fights. It's clear the amateur career and experience is bearing fruit. So, solid fight IQ, knows how to read an opponent. For the matchup tonight, he trained at Fight Company. Well, his grandmother, is an MMA fan and may well be in his corner. So you better watch out for a flying Zimmer, main, Zimmer frame technique. It's the perfect way to begin a car. Two fighters with a ton of experience, a great base, a perfect opener here in Belgrade. I love this guy. I've watched him from an amateur into the pro ranks. Aggressive, lots of looks, a real hard work in the gym. And so this MMA rules bout takes place at a catch weight of minus 68 kilograms and will be contested over three five minute rounds. Your referee in charge when the action gets underway, Mr. Franco Kleeman. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out on the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 67.6 kilos. At 19 years of age, he stands at 174 centimeters tall. He brings a professional fighting record 
five fights with three wins and two defeats. He's representing American top team from, American top team Zagreb from Croatia is Fran Luka Judic. And on the other side of the cage, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled an even, ready, 68 kilos exactly. Age 21, standing at 183 centimeters tall. His fight record so far, a perfect one. Two fights, two wins. He's representing my rules gym from Serbia is Boris Stanic. Fight us to the center, please, for your final instructions. Guys, you know the rules. Listen to my comments all the time. Protect yourself all the time. Touch the glove. Go back. So there's the numbers. Stanic takes on Duric. This is looking like it's going to be lively from the get-go, Chris. Yeah, very interesting. I feel like Durich may have the edge in the kickboxing. He's got to be smart about when he throws things. On the flip side, watch out for the level change from his opponent. Undoubtedly, Stanich may have the edge in the grappling. So we're looking for three FNC MMA rounds. This is a catch weight bout at under 68 kilograms. Boris Stanich of Serbia fighting red. Fran Luka Durich of Croatia fighting blue. Young fighters. But no lack of action because the amateur experience will tell its tale. You can see already the consideration from both fighters. On the outside, Dirch is just keeping a good step and a half out. And Stanish, at the first opportunity, once he gets that inside position, watch out for the level change. That is the speciality. Well, I had the pleasure of having breakfast this morning with Fran Luka Dirich. He's a very cool collected young man make no mistake we're seeing here a development the footwork absolutely sterling just able to move out of range when necessary and of course that uh, rear naked choke coming in last minute caused a problem tonight I would imagine for Boris Stanic he thought he was fighting someone else but did he get clipped there in a little bit of trouble Durich has to box his way out Outstanding work here by Stanich. He was selling the level change and actually used that little bit of movement to get in the inside and pop him. Dirch was rattled. Up goes the high kick. The crowd in appreciation of the uh, Jaime Washigeri. Stanich has good skills, very confident. Dirich needs to settle into this. You just get the feeling that he hasn't quite got his pace or his rhythm right. Having a little look-see here, taking his time. Prudence, the key word here. But uh, Stanich out of the traps and out of the corner, absolutely flying out at this. Pace has settled down, you'd imagined it would. Just coming up to halfway through this first round. And uh, no lack of effort from both players here. That right hand of Stanich looking for a home. But uh, Durich knows it's coming. But uh, backing off, looking for shots here and looking to work their way in. And this is where Durich, I think, is showing a lot more comfort because this is the fight they would have drilled to fight. On the flip side, Stanich got frustrated. He's not finding a way in. He had adrenaline from the big walk in front of the home crowd. So you can see him shaking his head, but that's a shake of frustration. Up went the high kick there from Durich. And uh, it's a nice way of sending the message in. Goes for the double leg takedown and lands it. But finds himself in a guillotine there. I don't think there's enough crank on there. But it's still problematic. This is unbelievable. Look at this. I loved it. He swapped it up. Just when we kind of thought he was getting the ascendancy on the outside. Finding his distance. He chose to take it in. Very smart. Stanch has got to keep trying to, I think, get himself established. Because Durich is keeping him guessing right now. Absolutely, Durich is throwing curves here, and uh, <laughs> we can see that Stanich didn't think this was just uh, a straight route in. He's going to have to go around the houses. Durich now found his pace, 
at last able to use the footwork and the angles, keeping that head a moving target. And it's never going to be straight through the front door for Stanich. So he's going to have to work out how to cut those. And uh, that straight right is a great, great punch, but he hasn't got the range right. Beautiful read of the room there from Durich. Ducks right under the Heimawashi. I'm seeing a lot more patience from both fighters, which is awesome. I mean, they both had eight, nine amateur fights before getting to the pro ranks. And this is the thing. They're probably all quite capable in all dimensions, and they're just finding how to get that rhythm in a professional setting where the stakes are higher, the rounds are longer. Well, this pace is suiting Durich much more. He's using the cage, avoiding, evading. And look at that slips under there beautifully for that double shoot. Gets the back of his opponent. Now this is where he's dangerous. And he ragdolls his man over. Well, we could be in for an RNC here, Chris. No, nope. managed to get loose on that. Is this a first round stoppage here? It could very well be. He's going for that body triangle. Nice, turning to the side of the lock to relieve it. Dirch tries to swap it up. That's the time to fight the legs. You really want to prevent it. Now look at the counter here, right? He actually opened up that triangle and then spun. That's the right time then. What a wonderful cocktail of focus durability here and flair we do like the flair here both these young fighters showing a lot of experience they're well rounded there's the end of the round what a great opener outstanding that's exactly what you want to see we saw actually a number of surprises in my view you looked at the way these guys were fighting just two three months ago i have to say durich has really improved on the wrestling he showed a lot of surprises there for sure, Stanich is still in this fight, but a solid 10-9 for Durich. Well, Stanich tried to come in straight. At the beginning of the round, closed the distance, managed to find a home for some of those shots, put some real pressure on Durich. But Durich, well, I have to say, got into his pace, got into his rhythm, used the octagon well, the footwork, the head movement, slipped a lot of shots, ducked right under the Heimawashi, couple of times there. This is looking good. And uh, we'll just see a tail of the tape, see what that reveals to us. And he can... So two of a scheduled three. And the uh, atmosphere absolutely electric, giving it up for our first bout tonight on the undercard pitching. Fran Luka Duric against Boris Stanic. We've got eight nations represented here tonight. The globe truly a huge part of what is obviously Fight of Nations Championship. But uh, settling down into what has fast become a very cagey, very focused, very mature display from both these young fighters here and then um, trying to get their mark right and well the maturity and control Chris off the scale yeah but Stanich has got to start pushing the pace here I like the fact that he's being a little bit more calculated on the outside to stage his offense from kicking distance but Dirch undoubtedly had the better of him in that last round so Stanich needs to be a little bit more urgent in my view well, I can see Dirich is in no rush to uh, lift the pace He's happy to control and he's comfortable at this pace and putting to good use all the training there, the head movements, the feints, slipping millimetrically what Stanich is throwing. But the focus here, you could cut with a knife. Very, very mature performance from these two young fighters. This is really top level MMA. Durich just looks a little bit more settled and a little bit more comfortable. Um, would we hazard a guess at, uh, well, where the last round went that was beautiful taking the leg switching it up coming round the back now he's looking to take his man down ragdolls in the game that's the second time Stanich has fallen foul there yeah I've got Durich up 10-9 to answer the first question and now looking at this equation he wasn't able to get the technical trip he wanted with one leg in so again I feel like Durich is trying to show he can big brother his way into these positions but he doesn't want to waste energy this could be three hard rounds and he needs to mind his conditioning but I have to say, he's in a dominant position here, Will. Great performance from Durich so far. Really pushed the ante. And then, um, you know, comes in as a last minute replacement for Tufik Sahic. And Stanic must have prepared for that. But in the last week, in comes Durich and throws a curve. 
Stanich comes forward with the straight punches. I like that. That's the way to demolish a fighter. But he's too slick, Durich. And the head movement, unbelievable. And uh, what a credit to ATT Zagreb because this is really joined up fighting for me. Intelligent, and he's really using all the skill sets and showing us a well-rounded performance. And good checks. Good movement on the outside. He resets. The stance swapping as well, I think, has been a little bit confusing. Look at that, right? He draws him in, he swaps up, and then he chambers up his rear left. It's beautiful. And what he doesn't do is he doesn't move out, which is what he's been doing. See, look, he's moving out, but then for that minute, he stops, stands still in position, ducks under the punches, and throws his own from that solid stance right on the inside. Now Durich is up in the ante, starting to put the pressure on, throws that right hand, and the stance... Uh, the stance swapping is just uh, a very slipsy little add-on that's making Stanich have to work very hard here tonight. And his punches are coming up short. Yeah, you're never going to go through the front door against somebody like Durich. And the confidence now really starting to show. We're coming up to the last minute of this second round. Stanich, I... With, uh, with, in terms of ideas, constipated here. Really not coming up with anything that's uh, fresh, that's invented, creative, and now starting to walk into some of the shots from Durich. And I love the fact that Durich isn't rushing this whatsoever. It's a lot of single punches, it's head movement. He knows exactly that every single time. If he waits, he sees an opening, he'll throw and then evade and be a little bit smarter about these exchanges as far as the points are going. So again, as the clock ticks, 2018, I think this will be at the end of two rounds for Durich. Yeah, you know, and you can deconstruct this. Essentially, what this game is about is about hitting and not being hit. And Durich is managing that beautifully. Throws the feint with the head, and then on the third one, goes down for the shoot, runs the pipe, takes his man down. Whether or not he'll capitalize in time with this position, the clock against him. Uh, but I think he's having a little training session for himself. I think he's really outgaming Stanich in this, the second round. And again, there's the danger. Oh, gives up his black Stanich, hooks in, and just look at Durich. It was outstanding. He went single, he went double. And every single time, I think bar one on those takedowns, he's cleared the legs, which is vital. He's been able to achieve a duck under, attempt a back attack twice. Very solid wrestling. We knew Durich was good in that department. I thought Stanich was better. I was mistaken. Well, very technical, I have to say. That's a statement performance we're seeing here from Durich. The confidence, the control, and uh, the maturity. Great, great skills, clean techniques, picture perfect every time we see him deliver. And this is the thing. We saw the calculus, if you will. Stanich, I think, was potentially maybe going to have some ascendance in these positions. But coming in, Durich is just all over, and he's just so efficient. Look at that movement. Pops him with the jab, shoulder roll to avoid the counter. Gets the back, frustrates him, right? All of these things are wearing up over time. I've got a dominant second round in the books here for Durich, and Stanich needs a second idea. We go to the third and final round here in our first bout this evening. Fran Luka Duric from Croatia takes on Boris Stanic. Hometown boy, front of a hometown crowd here in Serbia. It's been a cracking two rounds. Durich, I have to say, I think has uh, taken each round. Stanic knows that now. He's going to need to pull a rabbit from the hat to come out of this with anything. We might see just a little bit more heat on the shots from Stanic, a bit more commitment, but he's going to have to get up quicker in the morning, a little bit sharper on his hands, and uh, get the legs working. What we're seeing here from Durich is uh, really a command performance. And then um, what I like about Durich and what he's doing is the boxing skills are there. We know he can finish, but what he does is he stays in the pocket, moves the head, faints once, twice, then on the third time, bang, he's there throwing shots. But uh, it's the takedowns that are very impressive, Chris. And then the energy management, in my view, because both guys were used to having their way in their fights, and this was always going to be the best opponent they had faced in this point in their career, and Durch was prepared to go the distance, and he's doing the right thing. He's been changing up again. Look at that. Double flares the legs and clears it. This is an efficient way to get a dominant position. Stanich hits the mat again. The power. Durich is showing the skill level and uh, being able to dominate like this and just to send that message 
I've got you, I can take you down. That's a nasty twist on the arm there for Durich. He needs to have a care. Slips it out, but that's, uh, well, territory for an unintended injury. Now they're rolling. You gotta love it, he hit the switch. It was an attempt at a sweep. He stayed with it, hits the mount. We're at the beginning of the end, I fear. The ground and pound starting to come in. Durich may be softening up for an RNC. Will he throw that into the mix here now? Or will he soften his man up just a bit more? Well, a good enough amount of time left in the round. He's being spoilt by Stanich. Yeah, but he's got to work. He's got to stay with his position and keep the fact that he had the back exposed. Look at this, though. Educated crowd realizes he's able to turn in and achieve a position where he's now potentially, if he could peel that back leg away, you can see the, the battle here to distribute the weight against the fence. This is the art here for Durch to defend this counter. Good work from Stanich to come back from that. Found his way into the upright, working his man against the wire. Sacrifice drop. Needs the leverage to get the legs away. Durich. So well planted there, not going to do it, and he throws his man off and walks away, and Stanich almost in desperation now, stands to trade, not a good thing to do, he's been hurt, I think this marks what could be the beginning of the end here, Durich now opens up with the stand up, the knee strikes, he's a Gary, throwing it all in there, Stanich! The durability, incredible there. Referee needs to have a close look at this stage. Down goes Stanich. I don't know if he was hurt. The ground and pound goes in. This has got to be a TKO win for Durich at this stage. He's in a lot of trouble, Stanich. Hanging on. There's no discernible offense, defense here. The offense is coming from Durich the whole way here. Well, not putting a lot of effort into this work, Durich. He's happy with a minute and a half left to maybe give Stanich a chance to repair, come back. Looks like, uh, to me, he wants to roll a bit more. But the shots are going in. There's no clear defense here. But both guys were exhausted from that last grappling exchange, Will, as they came away from the fence here. Oh, there we go. Well, that's it. The referee calls it. I don't think it was a moment too soon. Stanich had every opportunity to mount a comeback, but Durich, patient, calculating, technical, great round, great fight for this young fighter. Uh, I think this is a young man to watch. Homegrown product from ATT Zagreb. What a talent. Yeah, it was outstanding, and a guy who's had a tricky professional career. He was undefeated 8-0 as an amateur. He came in and took an undefeated record tonight, Will. I think the thing was, Durich had a quick turnaround, right? We saw him last time. We saw him pull it out here. Let's take a look at it. Well, there's the exchange. Great skill level from Durich with the double leg takedown. He's got a little bit of an injury on the left eye, so a little bit of wear and tear there. But in the trades here now, you've got to give it to Stanich. His chin was tested. Look at the body shots go in. There's the knee strikes. He ate all of them. Patella sandwich all on target and it's a credit to Stanich's durability but in the ground and pound well the ref had to call it with a TKO and it was a justified stoppage absolutely taking a look at what had occurred there was nothing of intelligent defense or even more importantly an attempt to improve the position that's one of the things you're looking for as a referee Stanich had nothing Stanich was exhausted he was really put to the test here tonight and Durich got the best Big round of applause, please, for both fighters. But the end comes after three minutes and 50 seconds completed of the third round. Your winner by way of ground and pound in the blue corner, Fran Luca Turi! And show your appreciation for our brave runner-up, Boris Sanich.
spoils the victor. Emphatic win, great performance from this young man. Prije svega, pozdrav Beograde, hvala na toploj dobrodošlici. I još jedan pljesak za obojicu Boraca i Borisa i Fran Luku, stvarno sjajan med za uvodni dio programa. Fran Luka uzao si ovaj dvoboj u zadnji trenutak, imao si často otvoriti ovu veliku prirodbu, možda i najveću FNC-a do sada. Koje su tvoje prve impresije? Pa evo, htio bih se zahvaliti Beogradu. Ovako, znači kad sam se derao tu u kutu, kad sam pobedio, nisam ništa mislio prema publici, derao sam se prema svojem treneru, jer oni su zašluženi za ovu pobjedu. Htio bi se zahvaliti mom timu, ATT-u, mojim sparim partnerima, trenerima, Forgiju, Stipi, Boroviću i Saletu, jer da nema njih sad ne je bilo mene ovdje trenutno. I eto, čast mi je dijeliti ovaj kave sad na ovom eventu sa mojim kolegama i drugim borcima. Nadam se da sam poružao dobru borbu i jednostavno umro sam trećoj rundi koliko se vidlo, ali nisam smio stati, nisam smio razočarati svoj tim. Eto, to je to. Mislim da nisi nikog razočarao, sjajna borba za ovaj prvi meč. Još jedan pljesak, Fran Luka Đurić! numbers up on your screen, that's the Phytonomics, even without the stoppage, you can see that uh, Durich way ahead on points.